Okay, tell me, who said it? <laughs> I won't tell anybody. <laughs> who was it that told you you're not creative? Because believe me, they lied. <laughs> Welcome to the studio, it's Froyle here, and today we're having a bit of a pep talk. I'm going to share with you three ways to increase your creativity. And number one is believe in yourself. I know you can hear that a lot and it can sound a little lofty, but I'm telling you, you need to believe in yourself. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I had a teacher make me feel that I wasn't very good at art. Perhaps my drawing was a little lousy. I remember the project. <laughs> And that's not a good feeling, <laughs> especially when you're a kid and you're insecure and you've got low self-esteem. It really does do a lot of damage. And if you're hanging on to that stuff, you need to let it go. Maybe it was your mom or your dad or your siblings or a friend or not a friend that told you you're not very good with your creativity and your art. Baby, it's a lie. <laughs> And today in the studio, I want to give you three ways to increase your creativity because you need to push through this and overcome those self-doubts. So I continued art at school because really it was the only subject that was interesting besides recess. <laughs> and when I finished school, I wanted to pursue an art career. So I applied for a university, but I didn't get into the course that I wanted to do. And this time I had professors telling me that it wasn't good enough. I didn't do a very good interview or maybe my portfolio was lacking. I can't really remember. You know, it's a long time ago. Anyway, I didn't get in and I believed these people, these learned scholars that I was no good at art. <laughs> I know, how rude. 10 years, I wasted 10 years of my life, a whole decade believing that I was no good at art. Oh man, seriously, you can't let other people dictate who you are what you can do and what you can't do because they don't know what's within you you have to believe in yourself you can't let other people dictate to you what you can and can't do because baby they just don't know look at me now <laughs> i'm in a creative frenzy all of the time yeah and some of it's working out okay <laughs> i've been painting and exhibiting for 30 years now I've had exhibitions everywhere from simple little cafes to really fancy pants galleries. I've gone through every medium imaginable and created every art style. And let me tell you, there is nothing else that I would rather do than just make art. So I want to encourage you today. If somebody has said to you, you're no good, your artwork's terrible, don't believe them. Tell them to stick it up their jumper because seriously, <laughs> like Picasso said, Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once that child grows up. You were born with creativity, which takes me to my next point. You can achieve anything you want to achieve. You just need to learn how. Developing your creativity is just about learning, practice, skills, understanding techniques, and resources are endless. I didn't have the internet. I know, right? <laughs> But now I Google everything, how to do this, how to do that. The online platforms are incredible. You can do classes, you can go to lessons, you can do online Zoom, you can, oh my gosh, YouTube, hello, is 50,000 billion lessons on how to make art or how to build your art career, how to stage an exhibition, how to do anything. You can do anything you can possibly imagine with the resources that we now have. So my second point is just make the art. Just do it, just make it. You have to make art to create great art. That's the secret. You have to push through, do the work, figure out what you like to create and get better because you will get better over time. I'm a heck of a lot better than I was 30 years ago. Maybe my art did suck when I was young, but I was young, geez. <laughs> Teachers shouldn't be allowed to tell you your art sucks when you're young. I was a late bloomer, clearly. <laughs> You can find resources for anything you want to learn. You can learn how to draw, anyone can draw. It's a skill, it's a technique that you can learn. You can learn any medium, you can learn any style. And these days you can learn it even for free. Hello YouTube, seriously? So I really want to encourage you that if you want to get better with your creativity, you will find a way. 
You just have to make the art, do the work, learn the skills, study the techniques, and you'll get there. Which leads me to number three, don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. So I didn't get into the uni course. I thought I was garbage and I gave up. I know, I wasted 10 years of my life. <laughs> I lost a whole decade and I didn't start painting till actually after my first husband passed away. I was newly married, I had two little babies, and all of a sudden, I'm a widow. Man, I'm telling you, they were heavy days. <laughs> so I pulled out the paints and I started painting. Abstract Expressionism heals the soul. Pouring out those emotions, onto the canvas, creating the colors and letting all the angst out. Ah, oh, so therapeutic. Once I got past those paintings, cause they were very unattractive, I started creating paintings of how I wanted to feel. So I started making art that made me happy. Beautiful colors, rich textures. I put it all out there on the canvas of how I wanted to feel in that moment. And you know what? I'm still doing it. <laughs> 30 years later, I'm still making art that makes me happy. And now I'm encouraging you to do it because baby, you can paint yourself happy. <laughs> Just don't give up. Imagine if I had given up entirely and didn't pick up the brush again. Oh man, that'd be a very uncolorful world. <laughs> You just can't give up. You can't let other people dictate to you what you can and can't do. You can't let a lack in your circumstances to stop you because there are so many free resources and you just can't give up. Create the art that you want to create that makes you happy, that makes you feel alive. Use the colors that you're passionate about. Don't get strung out on what everybody else is doing. Who cares? Go through all the styles of art. It's really fun. Abstract is my absolute favorite. Now I started by learning how to draw and I did a whole series of total realism. Went to an art school, learned some techniques, it was fabulous, but it wasn't my thing. And when I started creating abstract painting, which oh my lord, I love, I had someone tell me that they didn't like them. Did I care? No, not anymore. Not anymore, I'd already wasted 10 years. I wasn't letting anybody tell me what I could and couldn't do anymore. So I want to encourage you today, three things to help you develop your creativity. Believe in yourself, you have to. Believe in yourself because you are worth it. Just do the work, make the art and you will get better. And baby, don't give up. And if you don't give up, you'll get to where you really want to go. So I hope you enjoyed my little pep talk. I know I do get a little excited. I'll try and calm down. I'll try and, calm, I'll try and find my zen. <laughs> it's a new video style I'm thinking about trying because I've got a lot to say. I've got a lot to share. I've been through a lot in the last 30 years and I know it's gonna help somebody. So let me know in your comments if you think I should just stop it. <laughs> and get back to making the art or if you'd like to see more of my pep talk videos i'll try and calm down my mum tells me stop yelling i know i know i'm yelling but i get really excited anyway thanks for joining me today i hope you like this idea let me know what you think and i'll see you in the studio on sunday yay <laughs>